Where is the love? I was going to sing some Black Eyed Peas, but you guys don't want to hear me sing. Trust me. Guys, Carmen Bianco from wagertalk.com uh, with a free play video on the early fixture Saturday morning, 7.30, Brighton and Arsenal. I'm going to get to that in a minute. But before I do, guys, do us a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Join the ever-growing community here at Wager Talk. 166,000 subscribers and growing each and every day. Hit the notification button. Get alerted to any of these free play videos or any of the shows going live on our Wager Talk platform with a lot of actionable info. And drop a comment in the comment section below. You guys did on the Arsenal video last week. I'm expecting some uh, comments uh, on the video this week from uh, you uh, Gunners fans, Spurs fans, Brighton fans, or just Premier League fans. Uh, one more order of business, guys, before we get to the free play video. Uh, seven days of uh, uh, football for free. How do you get that? Uh, a seven-day all-access package is $99. Uh, we have a deal up at Wager Talk right now. 14-day all-access for $198, and you get seven days tacked onto that for free. $99 value, 21-day all-access, $198. And that's not just football that kicks off this week with college football, but that is also baseball, soccer, tennis. Any play that gets released from us, you will get. Uh, it is an absolutely great deal. 13-4 and four run in MLB baseball for me. We're going to hit some big soccer plays this weekend across all the European leagues and the MLS. And of course, NFL right around the corner. That'll be part of this package. Uh, last year, number one amongst all cappers at Wager Talk in NFL for me. It was a fantastic year. And we're going to look to have another one this season as well. All right, let's get to this game because I know you Gunner fans are waiting to hear what is going to happen in this one. Arsenal minus 294 at home, Brighton plus 686. The draws plus 476. The total sits at three shaded 20 cents to the over on that one. You'll have to lay 120 on that one. And you look at these two teams. And again, we're getting more data now that we're three games into the season. We're starting to see how these teams are playing, um, whether they're fit or whether they are got 90 minutes in those legs. And uh, you look at it, Arsenal definitely does. Uh, 2 nothing winners at home against Wolves. But that was a game in which Arsenal really came out uh, well in that first half and then fell off in the second half. Some sloppy play. Wolves unable to capitalize on it. Uh, they were much better next time out. Um, went to Aston Villa, exacted. Got some revenge on them, guys. For last season, uh, Villa uh, completed the double and that second game at the Emirates pretty much uh, destroyed Arsenal's season as far as winning the EPL title. They went on to win every single game after that but fell two points short. So that just shows you how important that was. Arteta got the best of them in that one. You look at uh, Brighton, and this is one thing. Brighton, new manager, they're playing well. But we've got to look at what they've done. 3-0 win over Everton. This is an Everton team that I'm sorry, guys, if you're a Toffees fan. Uh, they are going to be a hot mess this year. Uh, they just don't have the money to bring in players. Uh, this is a team that is going to be bottom half of the league this season. And hopefully they don't get dragged into that relegation battle. But uh, you just never know. Uh, and I feel bad for the manager in that one. He's a good guy who usually gets the best out of his team, but they're not playing well. And then against Man United, a United team that could not finish in the final third. Uh, Brighton get the best of them, winning 2-1 in that one, uh, scoring um, scoring the uh, the winner uh, in the second half as well, too. Um, United didn't make uh, the best of their opportunities, but this is different. This is a, a, an Arsenal team that will capitalize on those uh, chances and if they get the same type of chances they're going to win this game and win this game by margin I think a better way of looking at this game is because the uh, the goal line right now the handicap first of all the the money line 294 is too high for me I will never play a line that high um, you can put it in with a parlay on another team and try and bring it down I just uh, will avoid that one uh, the handicap on this one is at one and a half in at some places, one and a quarter, one and a half. I think the better option here is because I think Brighton may get one themselves too. I think this game uh, goes over that two and a half total. The total is three, but you can take at DK under the game parlays, you can take Arsenal to win and over two and a half goals and it is minus 125. I think that's the right play. Arsenal win, 
over two and a half, minus 125. A 2 1 win gets you there. A 3 0 win gets you there. So many different options of uh, ways to get there. And I think Arsenal continue their good run. Let's not forget uh, two years ago, 5 0 oh, 1 to start the season, five wins in their first six, 5 1 0 oh, uh, last year to start the season. And then they're 2 0 oh, to start this season, 12 1 1 the last three years. Uh, within the first six games of the season. We still got four to go in that one, but they should pick up a win here and uh, and increase that uh, impressive stat. Arsenal win over two and a half. Uh, minus 125 is your free play. Guys, drop a comment in the comment section below. Let me know whether you like or hate this one. I'm good with it. I always enjoy your comments, guys. There are some funny ones as well too. For myself and the Wager Talk family, good luck with your wagers.